Hi guys, it's me and my little assistant. What's your name? Uh, What's your name? Rodriguez. Brooklyn Rodriguez. And we are going to do a little experiment for you guys. Yay! Yes. Rain. What's our favorite song to sing, Brooklyn? Rain, rain, rain go away. away. Come again another day. day. Mommy and Brooklyn want to play. Rain, 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 rain go rain. away. Okay. So we're going to... And there's clouds. But we're going to make our own cloud. And I Yay! Yay! And we're going to do a little science experiment and see why do the raindrops come down. So for this experiment, you only need a few things. Okay. You need something that's clear so you can see through. We chose one of our mason jar cups. You can use anything you want. You can use a plastic cup. Anything plastic as long as you can see through it. You need some water, good old H2O. Brooklyn, we got water, right? Yes. You need a little a bit of shaving cream. Yes. So, and blue. And blue, blue what? Food coloring. Food coloring. Yes. 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 So the first and thing we're going to... have rain. Yeah, we're going to do a cloud with rain. The first thing you want to do is fill your cup up, and Brooklyn's going to help me. We're going to put the cup this way. We're going to hold, wow. mommies and daddies need to help you, okay? Yeah. So we're going to fill it up. Mommies help me. Okay. That is there we go. Then we're going to shake up our shaving cream. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake, shake, shake your shaving cream. Shake, shake, shake your shaving cream. Shake, shake, shake your shaving cream. Shake your shaving cream today. Okay. Ooh, let's shake it up. So then we're going to do this part and we're going to put it on top. Oh, we got to shake it up more. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that shaving cream is not that. It's coming, but. There we go. Okay. That is water. So, as you guys can see, we have the water and the shaving cream. Okay. So then these little, the food coloring is going to act like water vapors because yeah. clouds fill up with water, water vapors. Can you guys say water vapors? Say water vapors. Water vapors. Yes. Fill up with water vapors. Once the clouds are so full with water vapors, it starts to rain. So Brooklyn is going to put in the drops. Can you guys watch? Put in a few drops. And then we are going to look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. <gasps> What's happening, Brooklyn? It's like blue. It's raining blue. So you guys at home can choose any color that you like. Remember what I said? You only need a little bit of water, some shaving cream, and make sure you shake, shake, shake it up. You need a little bit of food coloring, and you can choose any color that you want. We chose blue. So I hope you guys like this little experiment. Go. Hi, guys. Hi. Today we're going to make a xylophone, a DIY xylophone. To do this, the materials that you're going to need are clear glass cups. Glass cups. So we use mason jars. Um, you're going to need some H2O, some water. Um, we already pre-filled our cups. So your first cup, you want to fill it all the way up. And then each cup going down, you want to put less and less water. And then what else you need is food coloring. So what color is that, Brooklyn? With green, yellow, red, orange, red. Okay, so Brooklyn's gonna go and put one drop of blue. I'm gonna take off the top and you're gonna do the other part. I'm gonna go okay, in. you, one drop of blue in there. Oop. Or a couple, it happens. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna try to put one drop of green. <laughs> Okay, put it in. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. shake, shake, shake. shake, shake. <laughs> there we go. In this cup, we're gonna put one drop of green and one yellow. Why don't we do it at the same time? Okay. So you do the yellow and mommy does the green. Okay, no, um, one, two, oh, just one. Oop, all right. 
And then mommy's gonna do one green and shake it around. Oop, just a little bit, baby. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, put that cup back. Whoa! Whoa. Spring. So this cup, we're gonna do yellow. Make sure your mommies and daddies help you with this since we're gonna be using glass and shake, food coloring. Shake, 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 okay, shake. put that one back. And then this one, we're gonna do orange. Okay, put the orange. So as you guys can see, we're trying to make our own version of a rainbow. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, my orange. Okay, stir it up a bit, baby. And then this one, okay, put your spoon back. Good, great job. This one, we're going to do the red. That orange food coloring was a little bit thick. That's why we had to stir it up. The other ones are nice and... Oh, that one we don't need to shake up. It's going to be just fun. Okay. So, the next thing that we're going to use is our little spoons. And we are going to make music. So, I want you guys to listen. Let's see what cup is the loudest. Is it the one that's full with water or the one that barely has any water? It's so, Brooklyn, one. you go first. That's okay. Do the next one. As you guys can see, it started to get louder as there was more water in the cup. So I hope you guys like this quick, easy activity and it'll give you a chance to make a xylophone at your home. So guys, this is another super easy activity that we've been loving. You just need a spray bottle filled with water some coffee filters. I got like a whole pack for 98 cents, something ridiculous, um, and some washable markers. So the first thing you're gonna let your little one do, Brooklyn's gonna draw a design on her, um, hey, sit down. Oh. She's gonna draw, it can get kind of messy, but she's gonna draw a design on her coffee filter. They can draw anything they want. And then after that, she is going to spray the whole thing with water and then it makes like a cool finished product. Um, it kind of looks like watercolors. And you wanna, next you wanna make sure you spray. <laughs> she has marker on her face, but that's okay. That's where we're outside, right? And then the colors. They meld together. So you can use any colors that you like. Keep going, baby. No, put the bit. Okay, that's good. That's it. And then mommy has to get a napkin and wipe. And then that's it. And then it'll make a cool effect and you just leave it outside and wait for it to dry. We are doing a little painting. I got these washable paints and we're just in the front for a little change of scenery. That's a lot of colors in here. Yeah, there's a lot of colors in Make sure you paint on the paper, okay? But it's wash washable so I can just put a hose on it. But we did do some chalk art last week, which is halfway it's, it's, away. It's okay, let's wash, okay? Yeah, we'll clean it. Let's wash, okay? Mm -hmm. But don't color on there, okay? Try to color on your paper. Hi guys, it's Dream in Brooklyn here again today. And today we're gonna do a chalk mural. So this has been something that we've loved to do as a family. So I want you guys to gather everybody up in your family since we're all stuck at home anyways and create your own chalk mural. To do them, you're gonna need a few things. One is, can you show them the painter's tape? It's painter's tape. Painter's tape is best to use Mommy. because it's easy peasy to pull off the ground. The next thing you're gonna need to do is you guys can work together as a family. We just did a little one here so you guys could see, but we did a huge one in our front yard but you're gonna tape off any design or pattern that you want. Okay. 
Okay. In each of the shapes, because they could be triangles, they could be squares, they could be rectangles, whatever you design, you're gonna wanna color each of them a different color. We decided to use our huge chalk, right, Berkey, to do this. Okay. So Brooklyn and myself, we work to color all of these together. After you're all done, yeah. After we're all done, you wanna help me pull this up? Come here, Brooklyn. Let's pull up the tape. Okay. Help pull it, come here. And then we're gonna pull that tape up. Sticky. It's sticky. Okay, come this way. And we're gonna show them this is our little mural that we did. But with chalk, you can do many more things. You can do a huge mural with your family, or you can do a rainbow. This is Brooklyn's rainbow there. And then I did a rainbow here. So I want you guys to have some fun and go outside. It's warming up and the rain stopped, but I want you guys to go out and have some fun with chalk. I will see you guys next time. Bye.